Well, it is my pleasure to introduce to all of you, honestly, a person who needs no introduction. But I will just happen to say that she happens to grace card 57. She is the intrepid Mary Miriam co-founder of Headmistress Press and uh, as edits mentioned earlier today, the Lavender Review. I love this cover, I always have it, I always have it behind me, but I take up a lot of space so you don't always see it, but it's always behind me. Well, Mary Miriam, in addition to co-founding Headmistress Press, and editing the Lavender Review, Lesbian Poetry and Art is also the author of My Girl's Green Jacket from 2018 and the Lillian Trilogy 2015, of course, from his Headmistress Press. Her poems have appeared recently in Poetry, Prelude, Subtropics, and the Poetry Review. She teaches in the MFA program at the University of Arkansas, Monticello. I'm so grateful to call her my friend. I love her work and thank you for allowing me to be with you for this year uh, to hear the most extraordinary poetry. And I'm now excited that we get to hear your poetry. Thank you so much, Sandy. And thank you, Judith. It was wonderful. Amanda and um, Annie, fantastic, great poems. I'm gonna read a poem I wrote just last week. It's called Swimming Pool. And it was inspired by Anna Calvi, a, um, musician in England. I mean, she's a songwriter. She's a singer. She's, she's absolutely fantastic. And I got very, very inspired. So she's got a song called Swimming Pool. And um, this is after Anna Calvi, in the sense that I was just blasting her music while I was writing this, which I've never done before. And, um, and she it was just very inspiring. So here it is. Swimming Pool. Your decades melting in the cloth around your body, baby. Call me with a moan, saying to save me one by one by sound. Your mouth, your eyelids, lit by inner nouns. How do you do your hair in gilded waves? How do you place your gems in gilded waves? Oh, how, oh, how much longer are the years I have to count? If I could count, I fail. And yet, my silver will one day be yours. I'll send it by a bird with goddess tails, bright gift, a swift compendium of days, too slow to roost. Desire me. I wait so long my feathered nest flips south of you. Desire me like I desire you. Okay, this next one I'm going to screen share. This is from my new collection called Pools of June. And um, that's coming out from Exot Books on 2222 next February. And the name of this poem is Black Bark. After Anna Mendiata's Tree of Life, which you can see a picture of right here. I decided I wanted to be a black girl. If I couldn't be a black girl, I'd be a white girl, but I didn't want to be a white girl. I find a tree and drag the bark on my skin, some grasses and earth until I am black by the sweat of my own skin. I'm caught by a pool and captured and shipped someplace else. It's such a shitty thing they do to me, but it's only the first shitty thing. One shitty thing after another happens. I wonder why the goddess I pray to allows this to happen. I don't know her anymore and no one knows me anymore. I will not titillate you with sordid confessions 
nor will I dwell upon the horrors inflicted upon me. Instead, I will eat the black beans of my own skin. It was a dangerous decision to become a black girl. I didn't know my skin would be a red flag and my people would be lynched, but I feel better not being white since it's the whites in charge that lynch black girls like me, whether they knot the rope or not. Whether or not you know it or not, the tree where they tie the rope is the tree that bathes my black skin with tree mercy and consolation. So my black soul wiggles loose from the noose, junks its losses and slips past them. So, and I just want to say, I remember you, Janice. I love you. It was wonderful working with you and such a joy to, to edit and publish your books. And thank you, Judith, for your beautiful presentation. So thank you all for listening. Thank you so much, Mary. You know, um, you know, not only do you hold the space for editing, you know, such important, you know, work, you know, you are a poet and an, you were an editor and a poet of conscience. And we got to see that, that, that glimmer, that glimpse today. And so I very much appreciate you sharing your new work with us. Uh, and we look forward to hearing more of it always. <laughs>